Today we also we are mit Mitzi flyback here. Here yeah, that old TV around it, around it, eight turns and eight turns. Perfectly designed, very perfectly an ideal design. This I found me a uh, flyback of a arcing bit of arc too, but um, too bloody uh, they're too bloody stiff to put jumper leads on. Put that on there. This arc like that, but I'm not going to bloody hold that in my hand. Don't know how uh, Anthony Harbour and Voltage on rules does it. Holds it with a hand. Pretty risky. Hey cat. See what I can come up with. The uh, 36 volts. Weak battery. The two of our batteries that can still start a little four and six cylinder car. So 36 volts there. Now this RFPT 60s I think can run on up to 60 volts. That's the limit, then they pop any more than that. So if, if that's the case, my uh, DC, pure DC MIG welder is 50 volts at 250 amps. One off I had that as the input. I reckon this thing will go absolutely mental. I'd probably eat flybacks for breakfast if I powered it with that. Hey cat! Also got some uh, decent pressure gauges too off eBay. I gotta get some more of these. A lot cheaper than bloody going to a local businesses and buy them. I'm, I'm all for supporting local businesses. But their prices are bloody stupendously high. I wanted 50 or 60 bucks for one like this, a plastic one. And it's a lot lighter than this heavy one I got from China. It's actually quite a good quality little unit. That's an Italian made unit. Now I want 50 or 60, 40, between 40 and 60 bucks for one. And I got this for just uh, just 20 from direct from China. It's actually glass on the front and actually a metal case. And that's all plastic, even a dial pointer. This and these are actually quite well made for the price. So we get more of these. Very good quality stuff. This one's, this one's going to go on my air cannon. Hey, cat. Anyway, that one has been uh, put on, and I put some Loctite on that to seal it. Better than that one. That's a vintage one, and this one is that one is still a lot heavier, more well built than this one. Between zero to two twenty, instead of one hundred and forty, one hundred and seventy. The extra bit might hurt. Give me some extra range. Anyway, let's get back to this flyback. This thing is absolutely mental. I have to put something on here to insulate these pins because they're just uh, intermittently arc even now and then. I don't want to kill this flyback. I've already got one little uh, insulator there. Got to find another one from somewhere. Anyway, that seems to work well. Just a plastic um, hair dye um, dispenser nozzle. That'll work. This arcs are here and this main pin between here and the main pin. So this one's going to have to be a mineral oil job, which uh, isn't going to be a worry. No, I won't run it for long. When it, it's not arcing bad. Not close to the epoxy, but I'll keep an eye on it. So, let's give it another go on camera. The arcs are about that long, which is about, I don't know, four or five inches. I'm pretty happy with this. I'll close this window here so there's no wind blowing the arc yet. Alright, there's a little arcing thing. Um, put that on there instead. I'll see what I can do. I'll try it with this first. You've got to be careful here. We'll connect. Let's set about ooh, one, two, about three inches long. That's why I need a spark cap so you don't get arcs on your flybacks. Well, hang on, we're going to disconnect. You do have a spark cap to try and stop the flyback from marking itself. Oh, starting to break down on my jumper lead. It's on a bit here. Oh yeah, that's a focus control there. Arcs on that thing. That's what the focus, focus control module is. That's enough of that. Discharge. Discharge that one. Oh, discharged. MOSFET's a bit, a bit warm, but not much. Yeah, the more volts are warmer it gets, obviously. The, uh, they're just a tad above room temperature, my MOSFETs. Not bad at all. 
everything else is pretty good. Yeah, I'll right, go back down to 24 volts, I think. I'll just go back down to 24 volts for safety. Don't want to um, pop, uh, pop this fly back. Push it too hard. Just 24 volts now. Not very good, but it's a lot safer. Again, one, two, eight, eight turns is all I can fit in this flyback. It's a pretty fairly heavy gauge wire. That's the mains rated from a DG housing. That's the wire that goes to a DG housing coil, which I think came from that same TV from this uh, this flyback came from actually. So heavy duty stuff. Just fits snugly between the body of the flyback and the uh, ferrite coil. So it self secures. That's why it's so neatly wound. Yeah, nothing much there now. This one's happiest on uh, 36 volts, I think. Disconnect. Discharge. Does have a little capacitor in this one, somewhere. Might be in here actually. Might be a little tiny one in there somewhere. Alright, let's try it again. Arcs are bigger there. This is the definitely the main output one, this one. Arcs fit are there for some reason. Green arc, burning insulation. Cool. Break down. Alright, disconnect. Let's see if I can arc or um, plasma effect somehow with a light bulb. Let's see if I get that effect in the light bulb. Plasma bulb effect, see if it works. Might not be doing it correctly. Not the correct type of light bulb because you can't get regular incandescent bulbs anymore. Alright, oh, pants. Hang on. I can just see something. You haven't got enough volts. There's Corona in there. Oops. Oh, here we go. Hark in there. I'll just bugger the bulb up. It's buggered. Burn it through the glass. I've got an arc in there, though. Arc in the light bulb, but the arc was so hot it burnt the glass. It's not in the glass now. Look at that. Oh, ball bugger. Glass is dead short in there. Look at that. Glass is lighting itself up. Getting hot, it's making a crackle around it. But pretty hot stuff. Not bad for only 24 volts. I'm melting the solder. Solder's all melted. This is more fun and this is more destructive than the NST. Oh, we can smell it. Power off, discharge. Yeah, no charge in this flyback. Cool, warm, cool. Flyback's a tad warm. Primary's a tad warm as well, but not too bad. Bloody hell. Invent the place. The yeah, arc makes a lot of ozone. Ozone and burning light bulb, bloody solder and everything. Oof. 
It's the only bloody fumes coming from this is the solder fumes in the uh, high zone. Ooh, that's still bloody hot. Here we go, it's buggered. Hmm, what else should we try? Let's see what else I could try. Try this uh, um, flubber on this bloody um, H4 here. Let's say flubber, eh? No. Get knocking now at least, or what? Look at that, but you can't let light that light bulb up at that, at that rate. Mark in there. Bloody Corona, be careful here. Not as, not as interesting as I thought. Hmm. Okay, viewers, let's finish off this little lead-free circuit board. Oh, here is a computer monitor flyback. I'll put this one here back in it now. This seems to be getting a different result, obviously, because they run on a different frequency, so... This one here seems to be performing pretty good for the low voltage input. The uh, little bit sensor there. Real second for destruction. Like that. Power off. Cool. Let some air in here. Bit smelly. Yeah. Blue traces and everything. A lot of car behind that. I've got one. How much have I got on this one? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and five on this one. Don't seem to do too bad at all. Let's try it on 36 volts. Seems this is a pretty good performer on 24 volts. Alright, let's give it a try on 36 volts. This is probably going to go mental. Alright. Whoa! Mental, this one. Nothing's getting too nothing's getting too warm either. It's not a heat. Oh, it's hot arc. That's a hot arc. Now that tunnel's getting red hot. That's bloody hell, it's induced some current. Yeah, ZVS is just above room temperature. Not much though. Look at that. That is hot. Four green arcs. Power off. Discharge. Damn, that's insane. All oh, right. I'll disconnect it. Unplug safety first. Warm. The flybacks not doing too badly. Inductor. Warm, capacitors warm, the fits, eh, yeah, haven't changed much. Okay, this is a warm, not, not, not much there. This thing here, whew, got some color in there. Yeah, the flybacks played, um, yeah, about as warm as a capacitor is, but it's not, dang not, not dangerously warm, so. Here we are, I think that'll be enough for now, viewers. Thanks for watching.